Hello YouTube! Okay, so it has been forever since I have made a YouTube video. I am talking maybe three years, y'all, since New Hampshire. So today I wanted to come in and just kind of, you know, say hello. How are you doing? Um, I missed y'all. And also I want to talk about something new. If you follow me on Instagram, then you definitely know. But if you don't follow me on Instagram and you only follow me on here, um, I have taken up roller skating. I am a quarantine skater. I started in March of this year and I just became absolutely obsessed. So obsessed to the point that I now own five pairs of skates. So, <laughs> this video is going to be showing those skates off and just kind of talking a little bit about the pieces that go into them. Uh, thank you so much for being here and watching this video. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and all of that YouTube stuff that I guess I have to learn now. And uh, yeah, let's get into this video. So, the very first skate that I was able to get my hands on before the giant roller skating drought. If you roller skate, then you definitely know these struggles. <laughs> um, at the beginning of March, April, May, that whole time frame, skates were so hard to get your hands on. Um, they are still a little tricky to get your hands on now, but it is possible, okay? I got this pair from a local skate shop. I do live in Colorado, um, so death and glory skate shop if you are around Denver. But I got the Moxie Beach Bunnies. So I have kind of taken it apart at this point. Um, I wanted to learn a little bit more about my skates and since I have a couple of other ones, I went ahead and just took this apart. I am a little lazy, so I have not put it back together, but I will get to that eventually. <laughs> so this is the Periwinkle. Um, it is my favorite color skate that I own. It is absolutely beautiful, okay? It does come with everything on here, so wheels, toe stop. Um, I have those parts on other skates and just kind of scattered around my apartment at the moment. <laughs> but these are super cute and they have this really cool print inside. I wore these for the first three months of my skating journey. Um, I had a lot of fun in these skates and they took me a lot of crazy places. They have a steel plate, so they are on the weightier side compared to the other skates that I own, but these are still really great beginner skates. Um, I was skating outdoors, indoors, everything in these skates, and I had no issues besides them being a little bit tough to break in. <laughs> so I guess if I was going to rate these skates for beginners, I would give them a, we'll say a four and a half out of five. The next skate that I got, I also got from Death and Glory Skate Shop. Um, <laughs> These are the Akaya. I believe these are the Kismet skates in the pink. So the Barbie Patin. But yeah, these are going to be your skate park skates. They are a, <laughs> they have no heel on them. Um, I wore these for a while. To be honest, these aren't my favorite skates. They are super cute, so I do, keep them around. Um, I'm not a park skater. I just, like I said, obsessed with skates, have a shoe problem. So here we are. Uh, these, based off of my experience, I would give a, we'll say a three out of five. It's just not really built for the type of skating that I enjoy doing. <laughs> The very next skate that I got, um, these I ordered in May. So a little backstory, um, one of my favorite skaters ever has these roller skates and when I was looking for skates to get, I was just like, you know what, this is my gift to myself, I'm gonna invest in this, I really wanna skate, it's all I wanna do, I should invest in a really nice pair. So <laughs> I got 
these are the moxie jack boots they are a suede roller skate um right now they are incredibly dirty so please ignore that but they've got the beautiful m on the back here look at this they're so worn down okay <laughs> They also have this nice little shearling tongue inside and all of that beautiful print, like the beach bunnies, um, but a different print. And I did get this little flame decal that I put on here. And then the wheels that are on mine right now are the wheels that came with the Moxie beach bunnies. Right now, these are my indoor skate setup. I also wear these when I know I'm going to be on a very smooth surface outdoors. I have worn these as my primarily like my outdoor skate. Um, I mostly city skate. <laughs> so out on sidewalks, uneven surfaces. These wheels are okay outdoors, but they're not my favorite. But this is my favorite setup for practicing spins and footwork, especially indoor. They have, let's see here the reactor neoplate they are a little bit weighty um, they're not my heaviest skates but these ones are super super comfortable the break-in period on these skates was absolutely brutal um, I did get a couple of pretty gnarly blisters in the healing process but that being said these are like my favorite skates look they got a little light on here too <laughs> um, these skates are on the pricier side. I will go ahead and let you know that right now. Um, if you are a casual skater, if you just want to skate every now and again, if you have the coin, do it. They're awesome. If you don't, don't stress it. There are other skates you can get. Um, but these are a five out of five. I absolutely love these. Just yes <laughs> so the next pair of skates that i got these are probably my favorite pair of skates that i own period hands down bar none um they are so cool and so sick and i just want to say thank you so 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 much to brennan for making these um they are custom jordan skates uh, okay can we just take a moment to appreciate the level of extra that these skates are i just when i wear these skates it makes me feel some type of way <laughs> um these are a flat skate so a lot different than uh the moxies that i had over here the jack boots which is a heeled skate these ones are my favorite they feel the best um they are super super comfortable i love them for outdoors indoors everything they are so incredibly dirty so please don't please don't judge <laughs> i already know i need to clean these but they have i believe this is the bont plate yes so these ones because it is a sneaker they are super super light um like i said these are my most comfortable my favorite pair when i am outdoor skating in the city they just hug my foot i feel like I have a lot of maneuverability <laughs> um yeah but they have the pulse wheels on them which are my absolute favorite wheels i do have two sets of these wheels so these ones have the glitter pulse wheels and then i also do own the black pair um as far as bearings i'm not really sure what's on here um and it did have a toe stop in but I have a habit of taking my toe stops out because I do like to um, dance around a little bit and taking out the toe stop really makes it easier for me to like uh, do tricks on my toes. So here they are. Oh my god, absolutely the sickest shoes ever and now the sickest skates ever and I really just cannot begin to say thank you enough. Um, he did gift me these skates, so there is that. But that being said, even if I paid for these skates, I would be incredibly stoked and just 10 out of 10, okay? 
point. I set a scale of one to five, so 10 out of five. <laughs> okay, so this final pair, these are the last pair of skates that I owned. They are the last ones that I bought. And they are probably some of the coolest kind of, like they're just rad, okay? They are just rad. And let me go ahead and show you, okay? So we have some Air Force Ones, okay? But these are not just a regular roller skate, okay? We've got a little keychain here that clicks into the back, all right? And then look at this. harder to do holding it, but <laughs> it is a sneaker, okay, that clips in to your roller skates. So amazing, okay? The concept, it just, it's everything, okay? So these are a brand called Flanor. Um, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. They are a French brand, but I ordered these, uh, I believe, a month ago. I only had a chance to test these out a couple of times in the city because it has been pretty cold and snowy here and I really don't want to mess these up because they are so beautiful. Like I love black Air Force ones, um, I do like white ones too, but I love the black Air Force ones, they just, they're so sick, okay? <laughs> This is what the plate looks like right now. So they have some nice, large, uh, like a, a softer wheel. And then the plate itself is just, it's so sturdy. When you click these on, you can't feel it moving around. Um, it is stuck on there. Um, these I would give, we'll say these are five out of five also. Um, <laughs> these are really great. They are on the more expensive side. Um, they are definitely more of like a lifestyle skate. If you are somebody who roller skates all the time, but you're also constantly just walking around or maybe you're going out to work and stuff, they are nice to have because you can just carry the wheels with you. And then if you get like a minute to yourself, you can go out and skate. So I do really enjoy those and I really can't wait to test those out in the summertime. Um, especially living in a city, I am super excited to just go like explore all of the different areas that the city has to offer. And uh, you know, be able to still go inside places and not have to worry about like taking off my entire shoe. So five out of five. <laughs>